but if you want to use the variation that is four wheels, you can do that also. So, yeah! <laughs> oh, <Joker>! <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a tutorial, bro. For what? T-stops. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. This is a perfect spot for it, innit? What's up, guys? You are back with Jack. You are back with Jack. You are back with Jack. Because today I'm at the Ocean Academy in Islington. Look, my teeth look like non bread. Bye bye. <laughs> wait, wait. Terry, what music do you listen to? No triple threat, AWS. That, that's it. Who's that? What is up guys, you are back with Jack and as you can see, I'm nowhere that you recognise, I'm not in my room, which is great, I'm loving it, I'm outside getting the sun, soaking up that sun, soaking up that vitamin D, getting that melanin, letting it soak up the sun, getting that tan on, yeah, come on. But anyways, I am doing a highly requested video, a video that people have been asking for, for a while and I haven't done it, so here it is. And as you can see from the title below, this is a T-stop tutorial, yes, I'm doing a tutorial, come on sir. So in this video, I'll be showing you what the basics are of a T-stop and how you do it and how you can learn how to do it in a quick amount of time and also how it can save your bloody life no no it's not it's not that deep but yeah here we go t-stop tutorial in motion now the t-stop is a stop that can be used by beginners first time skaters all the way up to professionals and let me tell you now i've been skating eight years and i still use the t-stop so let's uh Let's get down to it. So the question is, what does a T-stop consist of? Now, if you had a scooter when you were younger, you would know that you had to hold onto the handlebars and if you want it to break, some people would put your, <laughs> put your foot on the brake at the back, yeah? I wouldn't, I wasn't that kid. I, I was just reckless with my stuff. But what you were supposed to do was put your foot at the back and basically push, push down on the, on the wheel to brake. In essence, that is what a T-stop is, but with your skates. So a T-stop can be used with both legs, whatever you feel comfortable with. I personally use my right foot to T-stop, and I'm gonna show you what I mean, what it is. Basically, like I said, in essence, the T-stop is like using, using your scooter and putting your brake at the back. It's literally like that. That's it. It's simple, it's simply as that, and that, the reason why it's called a T-stop is because it's like a T. Yeah, it's nearly like a T. Some people put it all the way back, so it's really like a T, but me, I'm, I've got comfortable just being able to do that, so it's more of an L, okay? But the thing is called a T-stop because you do put it at the back and you do push down on your brakes. The T-stop comes in different variations and you can basically use one wheel to stop, use two wheels or use four. It's impossible to use three, but basically it's just putting your foot down at the back to drag it along and put as much pressure down as you need to stop. So if I'm going along a line and I see someone in front of me, sometimes I know I've got to put down this amount of pressure on my wheels or wheel to stop or to just slow down. It might not seem as simple, but it's just as simple as that. You're literally just putting down as much pressure as you need to stop or to slow down. So with the variations, there's either one, two or four wheels being used when you are doing this stop. The best way to do it is have, have these two wheels, the ones that are furthest out, the ones that are at the back, you wanna be using them to brake. You wanna be using the back wheels to brake. So you've got that, they're there and they just drag. All they're doing is drag and then eventually, once you get comfortable, you'll just be able to put as much pressure as you need to stop. So the variations are you either use two, them two, or the one, or you use all four. Now all of these variations are down to preferences and whether you like them or not is up to you. So whether you want to use one wheel, two wheels or four wheels, that is totally down to you. But I am giving you the variations to do that. Now one thing I warn you not to do and it's one thing that all of us do, I started off doing it when I started um, and it's what you think is right but it's really not. Basically, you don't want to be using yeah, the inside wheels. Yeah, You don't want to be dragging your foot like this. You do not want to be dragging your foot along the thing like that. That is not right. That is not the right way to T-stop. Like that, dragging your foot there is not good. One, you're going to mess up your wheels, yeah? And two, you could potentially hurt your ankle. You could potentially break your ankle because you're literally doing that. And if you go forward, bye-bye. See you later. What you want to do is have it either here, here, or here. That's literally it. One, two, free it's simple as that now what i'm going to do is show you this in motion so you can see what it is to t-stop okay so i'm going to show you coming towards the camera i'll show you how it goes now how do we go about learning how to t-stop first of all you need to be comfortable going onto one leg and just going for a while just going for a long while just 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 like this 
Now, if you're comfortable going on one leg, all you need to do is just put your foot down, okay? Put your foot down lightly. And now, the reason why I say going onto one foot will help you so much is because if you're just on one foot, all you need to do is put your foot down. That's all you need to do. If you're on the one foot, you just put your foot down like a brake. Two wheels, one wheel, or four wheels. Totally up to you. But what you want to be able to do is be on that one foot for as long as you can. And then you can literally put down your one wheel, put down your two wheels, or put down your four wheels. Now, like I said, before you try and get the T-stop, I'd advise that you try and learn how to stay on one foot for as long as you can. Try and stay on one foot for just as long as you can and as balanced as you can. So uh, let me show you what I mean. I'm on one foot. All I need to do now is put down my foot. I'm putting down my foot and I'm going and I'm stopping. That is it. That's all you need to do. Now, one thing that happens to a lot of people starting out and learning how to T-stop is they start to spin. They start to go like that, okay? And that's because they're not really confident being on one leg and staying in a straight line. And that's why I advise that you learn how to go on one foot in a straight line first and foremost. Now, I promise you, if you learn how to go straight in a line on one foot, you will be able to learn the T-stop a lot quicker than you would if you're just starting out. And the reason why is because once you get that foot, once you get confident just going on one foot and then putting your brake down, all you have to learn how to do next is just literally put the brake down without turning. And that will come with the confidence of being on one foot. Trust me. So right now I'm going to do the four-footed variation of the T-stop. Here we go. And now the two-wheel variation of the T-stop. And now, the one wheel variation. Now one thing I say with this, and with anything with skating, you will fall, and do not be afraid to fall because that is the way you learn. You will learn what happened. You will learn why. We all make mistakes and you learn from those mistakes to then better yourself. So don't be afraid of falling. You may fall, you may not, but you may fall. Okay, so just be aware of that. Now to end that video, what I will say is with the T-stops, use those variations, but do not use the one where you're dragging your two feet at the front. Do not do that because I promise you, you will damage your wheels. I've done it a hundred times and my wheels have been damaged for years. Now the variations are one wheel, two wheels, or four wheels to do a T-stop. So if you're gonna do it, do it the right way and you'll be fine. Don't be afraid to fall. But anyways, I hope you guys liked that video and if you like me doing tutorials, make sure to let me know in the comments and I will do more for you. But anyways, make sure to like, share and subscribe for more videos and hit that notification button so you know when I'm dropping videos. And I'll be back and you'll be back with Jack. Bing! You know what? Let's get the drone out.